what is going on ladies and gents welcome back to bitcoin daily i am your host bitcoin j today we are doing a tutorial on bybit uh which is the um, platform that i have now recently been using um for my day trading and my uh leverage trading uh due to the fact that uh bitmex is now requiring kyc to everybody who signs up and everyone who's been signed up um so you know they're they're asking for like documents and uh like license and all sorts of stuff and that's just something that i'm not interested in um you know sending over to them so i have switched over made the switch to to by uh by bit um and i'm exclusively uh trading with leverage on by bit uh, now so this is a tutorial to help you guys out for any of you guys who are new um, we here we go over you know how to register um, how to make your first deposit um, the trading pairs available to trade with leverage you know how to use the leverage the different order types uh, the funding rate and how to how to get started making your first trade on here um, so stay tuned guys um, if you have any questions just let me know in the comments enjoy so the first thing that we're gonna do if you're not a Bybit user already is register it's very simple if you're watching this video just scroll down hit show more then go to where it says trade on Bybit with leverage click the link then on your right hand side hit email registration enter your email password and then hit register by using this uh, referral link, you'll receive a welcome bonus of $60, $10 for registration and $50 for a 0.5 BTC initial deposit. Next, we're going to go over the two factor authentication. After registering, I recommend taking the five minutes and setting this up. In order to do that, head over to account and security. Then under two-factor authentication section, choose your preferred way of authenticating yourself. I recommend Google Authentication as it's the most popular and easiest way. Making a deposit. There's two different ways you can make a deposit on Bybit. The first way is go to the top right, click on My Assets, scroll down, and then you will see your trading account. Here you can see you could deposit Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS or Ripple or USDT. You just click deposit on the right hand side and copy the wallet address. This is where you're going to be sending your Bitcoin. If you want to send Ethereum, then you do the same thing, hit deposit and you copy that address. The same with the rest. Now, the second way to make a deposit is you can actually make a deposit using fiat. On the top, just click where it says fiat deposit. It takes you to a fiat gateway where you can buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, and USDT using fiat. All you have to do is fill this amount there, either by using whatever it is that you want, however, you know, whatever currency you want, and hit buy now. You could do it in three easy steps as it shows there. So just look at the steps, follow the instructions, boom, you're done. Available trading pairs. Bybit uses perpetual contracts, which means that you have to deposit the underlying currency, such as Bitcoin if trading Bitcoin, Ethereum if trading Ethereum, and so forth, in order to trade that pair. You cannot trade Ethereum USD pair with Bitcoin as margin like you can in BitMEX. That's one of the major differences with Bybit and BitMEX. Choosing your leverage. Bybit has a great leverage system. On the right hand side, you'll notice the leverage. If you don't see it, make sure that you're not on cross and that you're on isolated. Every time you choose a different leverage, you'll see that there's a prompt that comes up where you have to confirm and apply the changes. So make sure to change your leverage before making any trade and always confirm it. As a rule of thumb, if you're a beginner, I do not recommend more than two to five times leverage. If you're a seasoned pro, 10x is the sweet spot. Anything else, I think is more than more like gambling than anything else. But every now and then, I do use 25x. 
let's talk about order types. Let's start with limit order, which is something that you're probably familiar with. The limit order is an order type which allows you to set a predefined price point where you will either sell or buy an asset when the price reaches that price point. Limit order guarantees that an order is filled at your specified price. Also, you earn a 0.025% of your position size for making and getting filled with a limit order. Next is market order. Market order is the fastest way to enter or exit a position. Market order works by moving up the order book and filling your order using the best prices available at that moment. By using a market order, you have to pay a 0.075% fee on the size of your position. Last is conditional order. Conditional orders on Bybit allow you to set a trigger price that creates either a limit or market order. This is similar to a stop limit order. Conditional order gets executed as soon as a trigger price is reached. Depending on the type of conditional order, either market or limit, you have to pay or get paid the same fees as mentioned before. Trigger price types. Last price is the price of the last trade that happened on Bybit. Index price is the average price of multiple exchanges combined and mark price is index price and funding basis combined. Choosing mark or index price over last price can be helpful to avoid getting stopped out on wicks that can be a result of cascading stop losses or liquidations. So let's talk about funding rate. Funding rate happens every 8 hours on Bybit and is determined by the difference in last price and mark price in the past 8 hours. If the funding rate is positive, then longs pay shorts. If the funding rate is negative, then shorts pay longs. Pretty straightforward. In order to avoid paying funding rates, you have to close your position before the funding happens and you can open your position immediately after again. Paying funding can become expensive if the market is trending in the same direction for long periods of time and can eat into your profits. So it's a good idea to keep an eye on funding to make sure that your hard earned profits don't get eaten away as fees. Also, funding can be a good indicator of market sentiment. If funding is very positive or, neg or negative, then the sentiment is similar. Now finally, making your first trade. Let's make some money. <laughs> So once you're ready, once you have your account funded, you have everything ready, you know exactly where your entry is, you have your trade plan set up, you know exactly where you're going to be, put your stop loss, and where you're going to take profit. Now you're ready to take your first trade. So here in this example, we're first going to do a conditional trade, a conditional order, also known as a stop limit. So we're setting our trigger price and we selected 10x leverage. Now here, remember how we spoke about the last price? You can pick last, you can pick mark, or in this case, we pick index. Select the quantity here, the amount of contracts. We're just gonna hit 10% of what we currently have in, our, in this account. And after reviewing the trade, I think we're ready to set it up. So we're gonna hit buy. Make sure that close on trigger is not selected since we're opening a new position. Then once you're here, just review, make sure that everything's correct. Once you know everything's correct, you can just hit confirm. You'll see that on the bottom right, it says order submitted successfully. You have successfully submitted your order and is now set. So now let's go back to the top right and do a limit order. So we're just going to set it under the current price. So let's do 10,700 just to make sure that we don't get triggered. And if you notice right here, you can hit buy long with take profit and stop loss. You can also sell short with take profit and stop loss. This is a very, very cool feature that Bybit has. So we're just gonna hit 5% here on stop loss. So our stop is gonna be a 5% stop and 25% on the take profit. Again, we hit buy and confirm our order. 
we make sure that we're at 10x we see our take profit and stop loss it also shows us our liquidation price which we don't have to worry about because we're using stops and we're all set man i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you guys uh learned a lot from it and got a lot out of it uh, this is why I do these tutorials and, and, and why I put these, this content out to help you guys out. Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything that we just went over, just make sure to drop it in the comments and I'll, I'll be happy to, to give you guys more insight and an answer. If I have an answer, if I don't, then I'll try to find an answer for you guys. Um, but that's pretty much it for this one. Try to make it as short as possible. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and as always... I will see you on the next one. Peace and love.